There we go. What's up, everybody? Goodness me. Look forward to getting back into this game. So for anybody who didn't catch it last time, I was strand became stranded in Antarctica. Had to do a whole bunch of makeshift, uh, like, electrical work, I suppose. Trying to get uh, the heat back on. Hey, Coach Bum! I managed to figure out that I'm utterly fucked if I wait around for help, so I decided to go find one of these things, modify it, and try to drive it to the nearest settlement. Everything look good? Everything sound good before I jump into this? Just waiting for a response from chat here. Awesome. Let's-a go. Alright, so there's no, like, utter immediacy right now because I'm warm. So that's a nice feeling. Let's start by just going over my inventory, seeing what I have to work with. Right, the blowtorch. I wanted to play with that. And what I can craft. Okay. Anything I can say to this guy? Nope. Just gotta find the stuff to upgrade that... that truck. Right, so I wanted to try the blowtorch on some of these frozen doors. Like this one. Yeah! Radical. What the? Oh, okay. That just leads back out here. Still, at least that proves a hypothesis. Yeah, okay, you're getting cold. Whoops. Fuck it. Need to get into a sealed room. But tell me I'm gonna freeze to death before I even get started here just because I'm stupid. No, I'm not gonna waste time. Oh, there. A uh, duh. Wow, I'm stupid. Okay, let's just warm up. Everything is fine. Let's have a look at my map. Oh, here. Uh, communications equipment. Okay, I'm gonna need antenna and transmitter from comms and a tank from water. So comms is obviously the closest. But I don't remember where I am. Am I at the garage right now? I need to get the comms. I mean, that would be going south no matter how you look at it, right? Yeah, okay, this is the garage. Ah, fuck it. Uh, well, I, actually, I'm closest to the water facility, so let's just go there. This could be valuable shelter. Let's go ahead and melt it. Good old field storage might have some stuff, too. 
really don't like this RB mashing thing, but, you know. Just a billion rope poles. Now, just leave it open. Doesn't matter. I think I'm going the right way. Uh, yeah, I, I appear to be. Fuck. Another field door, or field storage. Does it use kerosene? I'll keep that in mind. can't carry more of the okay so there is an upper limit on shit you can carry but it's item specific I guess there we go okay so how much kerosene do I have three all right Ah, fuck it. Water. This away. Is that you, water? Or am I back at the garage? Water, perfect. Oh, come on. Now everything needs the blowtorch. Okay, yeah, it definitely uses kerosene. It's got the same meter as the kerosene heater. Okay. Oh. Refill kerosene. Let's go ahead and warm up. And I'll take this opportunity craft a bypassing kit because I'm going to need that. I should just do two so I can have one kicking around, eh? Cool. Just explore in here. I'm not going to search a whole lot if I don't have to. I'm really just looking for uh, how to turn the power on right now. need to get someplace and warm up pretty soon. Is this room sealed? No. Or maybe? It is. Okay. Awesome. Okay, Found okay. it. Yeah, I am too, actually, Thank Couch Film. That, that went by pretty well. <sighs> Generator's offline. All right. Storage and pumping. Not sure where to find the generator. But that's, you know, I need that. Let's 
It's weird that it's not using the same power source as everything else. Is this degenerate? No. That's a pump machine. Aha! Found the water tank, which is fucking enormous. Alright, I guess I don't need to fuck around here any longer. But I really do need to get back up there somehow. Oh, come on. Alright. Perfect. Let's warm up a little. Then we gotta make the run back. Okay. Awesome. So much shit I could be looting, but I just don't want to risk it. I can't run while I'm carrying this, I just realized. I should warm up in here. Oh, put it down, you doofus. Okay, that's better. Alright. I need to check to see if I updated the uh, name of the stream, actually. Oh yeah, it's all good. Let's pick those up, and let's go. I should have checked those boxes while I was in there. That was dumb. Shit. Double shit. Okay. So, back this way, right? East? No, I want to go north. Well, northeast. Okay. Yeah, there's the thing. Okay. Gotta get in there and warm up. Put it down, please. Really going through a lot of fucking kerosene. Okay. Yeah, so we should just follow these back. Going the right way. Alright. Oh, the rope trail slows the wind's effect on your movement. I didn't know that. Well, that's neat. Well, that's true, Couch Bum. At least there are no mutated penguins attacking me. This really isn't that kind of game, though. Also, penguins are, uh... aquatic, so wouldn't find them as far mainland. Also, I'm taking that dumb joke a little too seriously, I realize. There. Perfect. And there's the garage. Oh right, I need to go in the back. 
All right, so that was probably the most dangerous part, unless I'm missing something. So that's that's good. Um. Ah, fuck it. I just need to get inside. So where am I supposed to take it anyway? I just cram it. Oh, it just gave me a little spot. Rad. Close this. Come on. Close the door. Close the door. Well, that was annoying. So what's next? Grab an antenna and transmitter from comms. I also need a fuel pump to repair an orange power generator to supply power to the radar building. Science building and water building. Well, I guess that's not strictly necessary. So we are going to comms again. Alright. So I'm facing south. It's fine. I need to go west and then south. Perfect. Okay. Can warm up in here. No, get in. Try going inside, you dumbass. Or maybe I can't. Alright, there's no heat in this building, even though the lights are on. Alright. Now just follow the signposts. Comms? Radar, okay. Way, I guess. At least I'll get inside. <sighs> All right, so I need to go. East and then south some more. Yeah. Alms? Communication! Perfect. I'm pretty certain comms has power. Yes, it does. Have I searched everything in here? We just do another sweep. Uh... 
So I need an antenna, eh? Not really sure where I'd find that. I'll check on the roof if I can. Oh, well, shit. That sucks. And that looks like a painful drop. Yeah, something else to catch bump. No. Climb. Climb. Climb, you bastard. I'm gonna go back in and warm up and then I'll try that again. Maybe I can jump and grab the ladder after all. I can also check on the other thing that I need. Long-range transmitter. Yeah, antenna and transmitter. I assume they go together. Now, the hell am I supposed to get up there? I really don't want to waste more kerosene. Alright, let's warm up and then I'll try to find something I can hop up on. Uh, the quote, the greatest action movie ever, Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, Assumption is the mother of all fuck-ups. Well, sometimes you have to work under assumptions because you lack the necessary information to make an informed decision. I mean, uh, the kind of logic I'm using now is called, uh, I think it's abductive reasoning, which is a kind of logical guessing. It's the same kind of thing doctors and detectives use. I see. Tell you more, huh? You know what? I don't even care if you're being sarcastic. Uh, abductive reasoning is really interesting and not something that uh, often gets brought up. It's often just called deduction by fiction, when it's actually the inverse of deduction. With deduction, you have a premise and a rule, and you're trying to determine the conclusion. Uh, with abduction, you have a conclusion and a rule, and you're trying to determine a pre... Uh, uh, presupposition? Is that the term? been a long time since I've studied this shit. Okay. Well, you asked, man. Let's see. Not finding anything I could stand on. At least I'm warm in here. No, no.
What am I missing? I've never seen Under Siege 2, actually, Couch Bum. Sounds like a, like, dumb B-grade action film, which I like. Might be something to check out one of these days. Really, do I have to do it again? Really not too happy with this. Going through a lot of kerosene. Oh. Oh, and it's Steven Seagal in it. Okay. Yeah, I never really cared for Steven Seagal all that much. I know a lot of people like him and his, like, dumb Aikido stuff. It's never really been my jam, so to speak. Is this worth repairing? I mean, some people might actually think he's a national treasure, Couch Bum. Like, he's a beloved action star from the 80s. And as stupid as it might ultimately be, he's found a way to revive his career. <sighs> so I'm not entirely sure how, I mean, what repairing that did. I'm going back outside. Oh, I can't get out there. That's lovely. Like, I'm under the impression I'm supposed to get on the roof, but I guess I don't actually know that for sure. That being said, I have scoured this place pretty thoroughly. Get indoors. Currently, minus fuck off out there. Back up to the radio room, I suppose. Is there another door around here I'm missing?
kind of wandering at this point. Which is... Ah, fuck it. I say which is a touch dangerous. Just get warm. I saw the bridge, but I didn't see a way on top of the building. I guess I can go have another another look. Nothing to lose. I have no better ideas. I... Let's see. Oh, over here. Yeah, you were right. I'm stupid. I'm a big, dumb, stupid idiot. The dumbest guy who was ever stupid in the history of idiocy. Oh, long-range transmitter. Nice get. loot this place. Roof access. No, oh, up, up, thank you. Keep it going, sister. You're making great time. I need to get inside and get warm. Yeah, don't worry, you're fine. You're doing okay. Just gotta go in here. Just go in here. You're gonna be fine. There you go. Nice and warm. Anyway, thanks again, Couch Bum. I didn't notice that way up. So let's just hang out in here for a minute. So I need to get back to the garage, which means going north, past power, and then east. I mean, I, I'm more familiar with that route, so it shouldn't be that bad. Unfortunately, I can't run, so that's a bit annoying. And I need to go north. Which is this way. Oh boy. I think I can stop in at the power station and warm up, eh? Yeah. This away. Oh man, I have no interest in ever experiencing this, like, minus nope weather. Like I was saying, I, I, I've had minus 40 before, but not goddamn... Not goddamn minus 80. Whew. <sighs> 
There we go. Oh, canvas. Let's take an opportunity. Craft. In case I need window patches, you know? Um... Yeah, I don't really care about any of those. But the flashlight overload will make it brighter, obviously, but it also seems like it might be a good way to waste batteries. That's not a trade I'm willing to make. Alright, off to the garage. Just realize I'm not very well centered. Yep, north. Just keep going. Good God, that's windy. Garage is this way. I passed it? Crap, I'm gonna freeze to death. Alright, let's go east. I feel lost. This isn't good. Oh, wait, no, there's something. Fucking put it the fuck down, you dumb fuck. I can't? Shit! Fucking ass! Alright. Yeah, 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 I know it's cold. I'm sorry. Close that fucking door. You son of a bitch. Close the door. Oh my god. I'm gonna freeze to death because I can't close a fucking door. Another room I can go into? This one? Okay. That door sucks. Yeah, that was shitty. It's too windy to close the door. I'm lucky I had this other sealed room I'd forgotten about. Let's try it again. At least now I'm warm and I can do this for like 10 minutes or whatever. There. Awesome. Alright, let's go contact this guy. Or wait, did I not get everything? Oh no, I I didn't. There. There. Hey, Maddie, what's up? OK. 
Okay, what? Diagnostic check not quite complete, but here's what we know so far. You'll need accurate maps of terrain. You can find those in the seismology labs. Going to need expedition gear. Various situations. Uh, enough fuel should be found at the science installation. Doesn't know where in science, though. But should be equipment manifests there that details where things are stored. Find that. A whole bunch of stuff. All right. I'm doing pretty good, Maddie. What have you been up to? All right, so I might be... It might be a good idea to repair and activate the orange generator. So let's go back to... That other building. To, uh, power. That's where I need to go. I know what things are. Shut up. Oh, man. Good thing. I'm glad things are pretty chill, and I'm glad you're enjoying the uh, Dark Souls series. I'm having a lot of fun with that one. So I've got to really bite down and finish it, because a fan bought me Dark Souls 3, and I need to play that soon. Oh, some stuff I haven't searched yet. Rad. I just realized I got all the way back here without a flashlight. That's weird. Uh, one weird thing about the Dark Souls series is, uh... I was originally very proud of that dumb, uh... gag at the end of the first episode, but now I kind of regret doing it. So where's this orange generator? I don't know. Hop into the workshop. Repair this window. Please hold. Yeah, it's good. Everything is fine. Everything is good. Everything is fine. You're fine. Oh shit, Maddie! Didn't know you're that into Dark Souls. Yeah, I'm actually planning to live stream DS3, sort of play through it, so everybody can enjoy my failure. I've been lucky enough to uh, been able to edit DS2 down, I mean, mostly just so it's not boring, but also so I can cut out failed attempts here and there. Ah, this must be it. I need a fuel pump. Uh, fuel depot. All right. Oh, I'd love to play Bloodborne, but I don't have a PS4. A lot of PS4 games I'd like to play, actually. Like, a lot.
Okay, so I need to go to fuel. Which is right next to power, I just have to go east. So, this way. Oh, that's north. That way. Oh, wait, no, I have to go west. What am I doing? I'm an idiot! <laughs> I've heard that crash is, like, exceptionally hard, Maddie. Uh, I also heard it's been sparking a really stupid debate among video game players about whether uh, crash is super hard or if we're just not as good at games anymore. I mean, I don't think games are any easier. They're more complicated than they've ever been. I feel like I'm lost. Help? Yeah, I, I gotta go back inside. I'm gonna freeze to death. How did I get lost all of a goddamn sudden? Holy hell. Well, uh, that's actually like really bad game design, Couch. That comes from the days of arcades, um, where they wanted, they even, though they wanted you to spend as much money as they could get you to spend. Uh, and that carried over to console games, even though it wasn't necessary. Like, I don't think that was actually good for video games. Am I not warming up? <sighs> yeah, okay, I'm warming up. And there's something to be said about uh, skills that you've been practicing, Maddie. I imagine if I went back and played, like, uh, Super Metroid again, like, I'm not so sure that I'd be able to get through it without struggle. Uh, the control scheme's a little weird. The wall jumping isn't the same as other games I've played. I really think people are making too simple of a... Si like, trying to oversimplify it. But people have a tendency to do that over just about anything. The idea of nuance and complexity seems to scare people. Okay. So this is where I needed to go. Probably could use some more transitional animations between, like... Uh, frozen and unthawed. Get a wiring bypass kit. Minus sealed room. Okay. <sighs> Glad I've got so much of this shit. So I need to find fuel, or a, a fuel tank, or whatever the fuck. Uh, rumors about Spyro being remade at some point, just like the first Jack and Daxter, have uh, been released. Pre-order free view of the new Uncharted. Okay, cool. 
Neat. I mean, I'm all for remastered versions of these, like, old, great games. No problem with any of that. Come on. I'll loot what I can while I can. Is this room warm? Is it sealed? It looks sealed. Come on. Looting all the things. Every last damn one of them. You were four playing Doom. That must have been a hell of a time. Though honestly, with the way the, the graphics were, you probably didn't even realize, like, the, uh, viscerality of what you were doing, huh? First video games I played were actually on the Nintendo when I was about four, actually. I was born in 88. My parents just bought me a Nintendo instead of a Super Nintendo because they were super cheap. And I played Super Mario Brothers 1 and 3. I played Legend of Zelda. Never beat Legend of Zelda till I was older, though. That game was really hard. Then when I was six, five or six, my parents finally bought me that Super Nintendo. And that's where I played the majority of the games I like. Like, uh, Super Mario World, um, Super Metroid, Donkey Kong Country, all that good stuff. Yeah, Super Mario Bros. is great. Super Mario Bros. 3 had an awesome sound- or Super Mario Bros. 2, rather, had an awesome soundtrack. The one that got released here, I mean, not Lost Levels. Okay, so I need generator access. Go through the workshop. And repair this mother. Okay, okay. I think that's a dream for all of us, Maddie. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hoping to be able to turn this into some kind of uh some kind of successful gig. It always kind of gets on my nerves when somebody is pretending they're uh, doing the YouTube LP thing and they're not like, oh, well, I'm, I'm just doing it because I like it. I don't want to be successful. I don't want to make money. Well, no, you're, you're full of shit. Otherwise, you just play video games. It's more work. It's a lot of work that goes into this. It's not easy. All right. So did that power on the other places? Kind of got lo I lost track there. <laughs> power control room and activate it to distribute power. Okay. Got to go upstairs. Da 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 da. -da. Warming up. Warming up. Or is it upstairs? I don't remember where that is now. Oh, it's back in here. Or is it? Okay, now I'm confused.
yeah, I mean, it's it's a lot for professional setup. That being said, if you want to register your LP, like, endeavor as a company, that's one big write-off. Although I realize that's a lot of work and taxes and stuff. If you're going to drop three grand on getting the right professional gear, you may as well try to claim it on your taxes. My plan is to keep doing things the way I'm doing them now, rather amateurishly. Um, my strong suit I, is really the commentary, being clever, having shit to say, uh, and not being Markiplier. Or PewDiePie. No shade on those guys, that just that's, that's their thing and not what I want to be. Where the hell is the power switch? I am a tad confused. Okay. Go to the power control room and activate... Yeah, where's the power control room? But yeah, like, to finish that thought, uh, my goal is once I have enough regular viewers that actually give a shit about the work I'm doing, I'm going to start up a Patreon. Like, I'm actively avoiding ads or anything that would be a pain in the dick like that. Yeah, I thought it was upstairs, but I don't see upstairs. Oh, there. Okay. I forgot all about the upstairs again. Can't believe it. Aha! Yeah, I get that, Maddie. Uh, I'm pretty good with this setup for streaming. Uh, I, I'm deliberately not using face cam for my Let's Plays. It's a part of my, I guess, marketing, if you will. My whole gimmick is Let's Plays that don't suck. And I basically have defined that as that are nothing like Markiplier or PewDiePie or Jack Skeptic Eye. Well, I don't want to throw any shit at him because he's a businessman and he's found an audience of kids that give him a lot of attention and ultimately money. So, like, all the power to him as far as I'm concerned. But that doesn't mean I have to think his stuff is good. But I respect his hustle. Now, what I, who I'm trying to be more like is the Super Best Friends. Uh, Geek Remix or Loading Ready Run. Like, they're my main uh, influences. I suppose by extrapolation that would include Game Grumps, but I don't like them very much, personally. So I need to go to... Fuck, I forget where I need to go. I need to go inside and think about it. Alright. Right, science facility. That's it. I need to go to the science facility. Which is all the way to the fucking north. That's good, Maddie. That'll make it a lot easier. Like, the narration is going to be a good way to stand out from the competitor. Because ultimately, the, the gameplay, unless you're a pro player or you're playing a game you're an expert in, it doesn't really matter. Alright, go get your tacos, Couch Bum. I should have something to eat after this. Maybe I'll make hamburgers.
But in the meantime, I'm glad to have met people like Couchbum, Latana Army is a great guy if you don't know him yet. You seem like a cool guy, Maddie. People that appreciate uh, the work I'm doing and also understand the value of networking. Jesus. Guess I can warm up in there. Come on. Get your tits in there. All right. Oh, come on. Ass. Ah, speak of the devil. Well, I I'm not going to call Latana the devil. Latana's the fucking man. I'm a pretty... I, I guess I'm a cool dude, but it sort of depends on my set frame of mind. It, there are some things I get pretty mad about. Pseudoscience, religious harm, fucking dumb conservatives. That's another thing. I tend to wear my politics on my sleeve. So if that doesn't appeal to you, you might not like my stuff very much. <sighs> How you doing, Latana? You badass motherfucker, you. I'm just gonna hang out in here and be warm for a moment. Just appreciate the heat. Ah, uh, gotta keep going north to the science building. I actually have no idea which building I'm in right now. I'm super cool, you guys. You heard it from Latana. What building is this? This game is harsh, Latana, but it's really... I love what it is doing because this is a survival and, in a sense, a horror game, or at least a, a thriller of sorts, where there are no enemies. It's the environment. It's your own creativity and the environment that you've got to contend with. Okay, I gotta get back in there. I, I'm getting lost. Shit. Alright, warm up, lady. Warm up. Well, that's the scariest thing, Latana, is that nature's not a predator. It doesn't have any reason to kill you. It doesn't care. Okay. It just being what it is in its natural state is destructive. Like extreme heat, extreme cold, wind, heavy rains. They don't give a fuck and they don't gain anything by killing us, but they just do. I think that is way more terrifying than it having any kind of autonomy. How do you fight a force of nature, right? Okay. So north, I guess? Like, I'm not sure what building I'm in. Oh, it's a field observation place. 
All right, I guess I'm just gonna go north. Or have I already gone too far north? I am super confused right now. Uh, the universe in general gives no fucks about Earth, life on Earth. And the scale of that sentence alone is scary. Now see, I actually find that really comforting. And maybe this is a fucked up way to look at things. But it's... it's comforting to me as a reminder that as much as we might fuck up and as much damage as we might cause, it ultimately doesn't mean anything because our existence is a pittance on the universe. Like, collectively. Like, I find cosmic horror oddly soothing. Oh yeah, like, as far as climate change is controlled, rich people have decided that, you know, fuck the future. They want money now, and they don't want to put any actual effort or work into trying to preserve the planet, because it doesn't benefit them when they're dead. As far as I'm concerned, they can suck my dick. Goddamn selfish white people. Sure do hate me some rich white people. Doesn't mean anything, but then you have to ask yourself why you live in a society with restrictions and rules. Well, you live in a society with restrictions and rules because without any restrictions or rules in place, you have anarchy. Of course, true anarchy can't really exist because um, any breakdown of existing social structure will lead to the creation of a new social structure, even if it's just very local and among individual groups, there's always going to be a leader, or at least a governing body, right? <laughs> well, we are animals, Maddie. Uh, I never really liked the whole human exceptionism, uh, exceptionalism thing. Like, what separates us and what makes us unique is sapience, the ability, like, wisdom, the ability to analyze our own thoughts. But ultimately, we're still subject to all the base impulses every other mammal is, right? And we're not the only species that has uh, culture as... I mean, this complex, obviously, but a lot of great apes also have a similar sort of uh, cultural setup. Bonobos are really fucking cool, actually, in that sense. And chimpanzees, too. Okay, yeah, this is science. See, now you guys are talking about shit I find interesting, and I'm... Uh, I'm losing focus on the video game. Uh, I wouldn't say there'd be constant chaos, Maddie, but there'd be a lot of ensuing chaos until uh, order could be reestablished in whatever sort of locus that would entail. Yeah, man, Latana. Critical thinking, scientific thinking, that shit's really fascinating to me. Well, what amazes me more about uh, unique human ability is our ability to not only think, like there are a lot of sentient, like all animals are sentient. Nearly all living things are, well, all, nearly all animalia is sentient, except for like mollusks and shit. But sapience allows us to not only have thoughts, 
but to analyze them and critically evaluate our own thoughts, which is super important. And there's that. We can't divorce ourselves from the destruction we're causing. And it's ultimately going to lead to our own downfall. Oh, man. Global warming scares the shit out of me. Several items necessary for field observation work are spread out through the science facility. If you need to get a hold of any of these pieces, find them in their respective locations. Expedition kit being prepped in the field observation building. Okay, I was already there. Uh, red glacier map and data processing. So let's just do one at a time. Expedition kit in the field observation building. Uh, when you get in the realms of the population of our species. I mean, overpopulation is definitely a problem, but I think it's going to become less and less of a problem over time because my generation isn't having enough kids to keep up, and I expect that trend to continue because the idea of having children just isn't as appealing as it used to be. We don't treat children as a resource to be exploited as we get older in order to take care of us. Uh, we aren't, we don't uniformly believe that our purpose is to procreate, or that sex has to be for the purpose of procreation. And as other countries catch up to the first world, I think we're going to see overpopulation become less of an issue. But acutely speaking, it is absolutely a problem. And I don't see an, a, an easy solution to it. Not within the realms of ethics, anyway. Uh, yeah, you are totally distracting me, because this is all shit I like. Like what we're talking about here. I'm like a huge fucking nerd when it comes to behavior. And, I mean, I studied psychology, eh? Okay, these are the labs. I gotta warm up. Alright. Warming up. Then I've got to go find... What was it again? Field Observation Building. I think this is it? Maybe? No, this is not it. What's in here? Fuck all. Got it. Oh, that's field observation. Okay. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Ah. I found what I'm looking for. Now I need to get back someplace warm. Shit. Ass. Please don't freeze to death out here. All right, got to get up there. That's where I'm headed. Got to get up there. Got to get warm. Got to go fast. Got to get warm. Shit. Fucking dick nipples.
All right. Uh, I guess I'm catching up to do. Let's see here. Whew. Like watching the treasure hunting shows, dig up old treasure, thousands of years old. Yeah, man. Any sort of archaeology, that shit's cool. Right today, if humans were wiped out, something like rodents theoretically could take over the planet. Uh, maybe. At least in the short term, they'd probably have the numbers and the ability. I think given, you know, a few more eons of evolution, we'd probably see either, man like, either another great ape like humans evolve, if that's the most viable thing that can li live on Earth. I mean, that can uh, thrive on Earth, so to speak, develop a higher intelligence, cerebral thinking, or some kind of, like, fly, like an insect evolving to have more cere cerebral capacity, or any, for that matter. Getting on the remnants of humanization. Okay, now you're just writing, like, Fallout fanfiction. All right. So... Where do I need to take this? Need a processing building and a storage room. What was a published scientific thesis? Okay, so I need to remember that this is up here. Administration, yeah. I need to find storage. Would that be down, maybe? Keep some of these doors closed, actually. I mean, a bathroom is kind of like storage. Place where you store poop. Outdoor temperatures roughly minus a hundred. Fuck me. I'm too fat and soft to survive after an apocalypse. Wouldn't even be worth trying, really. I... Looking for the observation building? Oh, storage. I need that, too. Oh, there's a big goddamn hole in the wall. Fuck me. Got it. But it wouldn't put everybody on an even playing field, uh, Couch Bum. People would still have more resources than other people. It would just be different resources. 
Like, an apocalypse doesn't reset the world. In fact, an apocalypse... Like, it wouldn't take us any further back technologically than the 1950s, because that's about when we started putting computers and shit. So, assuming, for whatever reason, that everybody with the know-how to make advanced technology with, like, computer parts and what have you. All right, Couch Bum. Well, thanks for stopping by. Laton Army. Yeah, um... In the event of zombie apocalypse, I've thought about this local store, uh, Atlantic Superstore. It's right next to a uh, hardware store. Uh, and just you could get sewer access and reach a hotel from there. That's probably where I try to set up. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be the only person to think of it. Uh, people are going to go there and try to raid the place. I, again, I like my cushy lifestyle and I'm a soft, fat dude. I really don't want to have to survive in an apocalypse. Mm. Okay, I was just at sample storage. Oh yeah, you definitely want a community. The problem is uh, establishing... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? For some reason, I, I want to say regency, but that is the wrong word. Where the fuck is cold storage? Or, not cold storage. S storage. Well, let's warm up in here. <sighs> yeah, now you just want to play Fallout. I get it. Oh, man. This is taking too long. I really got to focus. Yeah, sample storage. This is where I was supposed to go, right? Ah, fuck it. Well, I'll come back. I need to get warm. Nope, labs are bad. Shit. 
Yeah, this thing said I needed to go to the storage. It's a map I'm looking for, huh? Alright. Map! Where'd you go, map? That appears to be all there is to sample storage. Oh, I already do have it. I'm stupid. Now I need to go to data processing. That explains why I couldn't find the damn thing. I have it! So where is processing? First, I need to get warm. Oh, man. out in here for another minute. Guess I can make another window patch, just in case it comes up. And I'm going to need more wiring bypass kits. Yeah, I mean, there are there are definitely some uh, corners that were cut on this game, but it is an indie game. And they definitely prioritized, like, the atmosphere and the experience. <laughs> Alright, Latana. The la -de da with your crisps. I, I know what crisps are. I was just... I'm just making fun of you. Ass. Oh, where are you, Maddie? You in the UK? Also, Latana, nobody calls them potato chips. They just call them chips. Potato chips is like saying soda pop. Nobody calls it that. Aha! Alright, right on. Yeah, I've noticed I have a lot of, uh fans in the UK and in Australia. Now, I know over there you call chips fries. And when paired with fish, we call them chips here. But that's it. Otherwise, the word chips just means potato chips. Or crisps, if you're a weirdo. All right, so I need to find what again? Data processing. 
I have no clue where that is. Labs? Yeah, trousers and pants is a... Uh, is a pretty good one. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, language is a complicated thing. But honestly, like, the difference between our version of English and your version of English is pretty minimal. Now, Americans, I got a problem with them. They have an aversion to putting the letter U in stuff. Like, they just can't be fucked to spell color with a U. Those motherfuckers. <laughs> Quoting Latana Army, don't get me started on pants. Oh, you mean like the southern drawl kind of thing for extra syllables? I used to work in uh, IT and uh, I, I had to deal with Americans and occasionally one of them would make jokes about my accent. Like, I I am adamant that I don't say a boot. I say about. That's the word. Um, and this lady was sort of teasing me about it and I, I, I told her, like, well, it's better than the way you pronounce it. With a whole extra syllable in the word, like a buyout. Or yeah, hair. Hair. <sighs> yeah, comb in your hair. Yeah, I see what you, I know what you mean. Going down to the Baba to get a hair cut. I don't want to talk about dumb fucking accents. Boston. See, Boston doesn't so much have a dialect. <laughs> Boston doesn't so much have a dialect as it is a city pronouncing everything wrong. Like car. That's a pretty simple word. C A R car. How do they pronounce it? K. I'm going to pick up a, uh, go down to the care rental place and pick up a sedan. You know, the care. Motherfuckers. I'm trying to find this building and I can't and I'm getting frustrated here. Yeah, Mike, like Mike, Mark Wahlberg. But he's gotten better. He doesn't pronounce things that badly anymore. Uh, Louis C.K. is the same way. He's, he's from there originally. And uh, I actually got that joke from a bit he did making fun of Boston. Oh, it was, it was right here. The Reed Glacier map was inside us the whole time. All right, I'm going to close these doors, if I can, and warm up. Yeah, man, Louis C.K. might be the best comedian in the world right now. I don't know Ted. I don't think. All right, so where am I headed now? Okay. Okay. To the snow cat, so south and then east. Uh. I mean, I know what Ted Talks is, I don't know about Ted, a comedian. Uh, 
Okay, garage. I, I really like Dave Chappelle's old show. The Chappelle show is a damn good show. Like, I can't see Rick James now and not think of Chappelle's Rick James. It was so good. This way. No, I haven't seen Ted the Bear. Oh, wait, was that... Is Ted the Bear that dumb stuffed animal from the movie by uh, Seth MacFarlane? Okay, I'm going to freeze to death at this rate. That it? Well, it's a place I can warm up at least. Okay, yeah, I fucking hate that. I I don't like Seth MacFarlane. I think that he is a nebulous singularity of anti-humor. In that anything that gets within gets close enough to his um like his event horizon just immediately gets sucked in and not funny I don't like Seth Rogen or Seth uh, I like Seth Rogen I don't like Seth MacFarlane he's hideously unfunny Okay. Okay. So that part's done. Oh yeah, this door doesn't want to shut. Fuck! You mofo. Ah! Oh yeah, Kevin Hart's good. I like Kevin Hart. He does really good interviews, too, on, like, the talk show circuit. Likes to talk about how his, uh... His kids don't think he's funny, and they don't give a shit about the fact that he's famous. Like, at all. Requesting status report. I've got the shit! <laughs> status report! I'm fucking cold! Got the eye of the tiger girl. So I need to go to the radar station and get some more gear. Yeah, so I'm going to need this radar so I can track the bad weather. Extremely dangerous, no kidding. You have to be dramatic when you type, buddy. We're looking for the ending of The Shining, but with less axe murder.
read that last bit again. Alright, cool. Yeah, really. I mean, here's Johnny. Ah, yeah. I'm so fucking funny. Alright, this place is missing part of its wall. Alright, so now I need to go to Radar. But not the fun, awkward one that was on MASH. No, sir. Alright, so west first. Uh, because the name Sean spread, uh, I don't know where its origin is. It seems maybe French, S-E-A-N, Jean. It probably comes from J-E-A-N, Jean, actually. Um, but every different place would have spelled it differently. Like, A-U-N is more, um, Scandinavian or, like, Norse. And uh, AWN is more like uh, British Isles languages. Not necessarily English or Irish or Welsh, but some combination of those. Something like that, you know? Yeah, I, I have no idea about Jeff and Jeff. But when I was a kid, I, uh, I used to pronounce that Gioff, like an idiot. Yes, the skateboarder Gioff Rowley of England. And yes, I'm aware how annoying it is that I just seem to know stuff. I've been made very aware. Uh, keep going west if I can. Around these mountains. Come on. Yeah, that's where we're headed. That's where we're headed. Super dangerous. How the fuck am I supposed to get there? <laughs> no. I need to find some place to get inside. Or I freeze to death. Uh, we'll go to whatever's over here. Is this habitat? Shit. Okay. So where am I? Power? Yeah, I am. All right. Oh boy. Oh, excuse me. So I need to go a little north, mostly west, and I've got to find the way up to Radar Ops. Should be someplace over here. Um, 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 
Aha! Wait, is this it? Yeah, this must be it. Okay. Alrighty. We have heat? Yes, we do. Radical! Boy, this is a precarious place. Aha, kerosene. It's something I legit needed. Close this door and warm up. Oh boy. How many batteries do I have? I have some battery assemblies. Am I my last battery? I can't be right. Yeah, I have no batteries left, so that's not good. They weren't kidding about this being fucking dangerous. Well, I don't know if it's rip yet, but it's not great. I'm gonna go inside here and see if there I could find any. There appears to be fuck all in here. Gondola to radar. Well, that's safe. I sure can't wait to take the gondola. Like, do I just have to walk across this? I'm gonna get blown off and die. I can't believe I made that. Okay. Okay, okay. Yep, blown off and die. I'm going to stick with that. Oh shit! Fuck! At the very least this feels climactic, so this 
hopefully the last thing I'll need to do before we're, we get out of here. If I'm remembered for anything, Latana, I hope it's blowjobs and death. There. All the way up here for that fucking radar scope. Okay. Well, let's just search everything before I go. It's a noble legacy, yes. I'm just curious to see what's out here. I mean, I'm already all the way up here, may as well look around. Me and my light pole. Or was I supposed to come up here anyway? For whatever reason, I've got radar love stuck in my head. I don't get it. Need to get back in someplace warm. Oh yeah, this isn't it. Wait, what am I doing? No, don't waste it there. Shit. There. Right, I need the radar dish. And that's going to be at the top. <sighs> Give dish. Give dish plocks. Like, I'm not trying to drop anything, I'm interacting with stuff. Am I missing a ladder? Where's this antenna? Or not antenna, but whatever the fuck it is I'm looking for. Radar dish. I can melt the ice inside. I guess. Well, this door's blown off, so I really... I guess I'll try the blowtorch? No, I don't think I can. Gotta get back to warm.
Okay. So maybe the dish isn't further up? <sighs> yeah, I think I saw something down there that could be the dish. My plan is to go back down now that I've had a chance to warm up. Oh yeah, I found battery. Yeah, that thing. Maybe? <gasps> Shit! Oh, okay. No, we're good. Oh, no, we're not good. I fell to my death. Alright. Oh, excuse me. How rude. Yes, now now it's actual rip. For real this time. Thankfully it didn't send me far back. Oh, so is that where I'm trying to get then? I kind of lost track of where I'm going. Now that's, that looks like it's going to kill me, so... Let's go this way. Oh, there it is. Or wait, no, that's the gondola. Wait, do I want to take the gondola back across? First things first, I need to warm up. Oh, I'm gonna have a... Oh. Excuse me. Another quick look around, and if I don't find it, I'm gonna look it up online. No, I agree. It looked... I thought it was an antenna, too. No, that was the gondola. Ah, shit. I'm just getting cocky. That's my problem. What am I missing? It has to have to do with this, doesn't it?
All right, I'm gonna go look it up. Oh right, this this room's not sealed. This one is. Okay, so specifically, I'm looking for the radar dish. Just bear with me here. Okay, so that's where I am. Right. Wait, what? Oh, come on! All right. I'm a big, dumb, stupid guy. I'm a big, dumb, stupid guy. Yeah, check this out. That's all I had to do. That's all I had to fucking do. Unbelievable. My butt is so hurt right now. So very, very hurt. <sighs> the butt the butt hurt flows through me. Like the dark side of the force. I don't trust that gondola, so I'm just gonna walk across if I can. Oh, the storm stopped. What a nice little fucking reprieve. You know what it is? I bet you can't make it back in the storm moving at the pace this makes you move at. Because you're carrying the goddamn uh, intent or the satellite dish or whatever the fuck. Yeah, no, the storm totally did calm down. Oh, can I not get back up there? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. I ain't trusting you, Gondola. Good way to get fucking killed. What I find really interesting is, uh, like, the storm comes with all this blowing snow and shit, but now that it's calm, the sky is clear. It, it should actually be colder now. Like, when it goes below minus 20 or so here, up, like, where I am, we, we get that annually, like, minus 20, minus 30. That's the thing here. There's no snow. There's no clouds. It's really hard for water crystals to form at that temperature. So I know they're trying to make this seem like, oh, it's not so bad right now. It should be cold. Like, very cold.
the warm up and power or whatever this is. There we go. We're nearly done. I can taste it. I can taste safe, uh, sanctuary, save. I don't know words, man. No, absolutely, Maddie. It's. I think it's because they don't live in like a really cold climate, like where I live in New Brunswick in Canada. This is where the snow happens. Like, we do get those cold-ass days I've talked about. We see minus 40 every few years. But we also get, like, four feet of snow at a time. Five or six times a season. Like, obscene amounts of snow. So I'm going back to the garage. Where am I? Power. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't. And there's pl plenty of places in Canada that don't get that kind of snow. Um, some places get much more cold, though. Like, uh, Winnipeg is a very cold city, and they see... Minus 30, minus 40 every year. Uh, they don't get as much snow as we do, obviously. But then you get places like British Columbia, where um, on the far west coast, they almost never get snow at all. And the temperature bottoms out at like minus 5 sometimes. Pretty great story. Um, a guy that grew up on my street, his parents are from England. And when his grandparents came over to visit for the first time, it was around Christmas, and we had a big old storm happening. And the grandmother could not get over the fact that the snow was moving horizontally. Like, that was just fucking insane to her. Nothing to worry about. Awesome. Huh. So this has to have been the most challenging walking simulator I've ever played. And I do like those kinds of games in general. Um, though it has its imperfections, I think near death is a very unique and interesting experience. It's only like four hours long. I'd highly recommend anybody who wants to give this a try, try it. I'm coming home. Is that it? Yeah. So this has been near death. I hope you all enjoyed it. Good job, Alex Mun. I like the art direction in this. Yep, I survived Antarctica. I only died a few times. <laughs> I like how the the credits are just like slow rolled over different 
shots of the assets in the game. Like, they're gonna get as much use out of those fucking assets as they can. Hey, can I skip this? Anyway. That's gonna be it for tonight. Thanks everybody for joining me. This was a great stream. Anyway. Take care.